It's 7.31. I call this meeting to order. I got to go mute my television. Where did Michael go? Did he leave Israel? To mute his TV. <clears throat> He's back. We seem to have somebody coding in the background. Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> of course, we have a tornado watch, so we got to be careful here, huh? I know. That's why I'm hoping we'll get this done over with soon. I am too, because I got to go outside and grill. <laughs> Margaret disappeared. It's because she gets hit first before we do. So just keep an eye on Margaret. <laughs> oh, Maverick. <laughs> All right, so where do we want to begin? Do we want to uh, start with the revenue side and just approve everything that's on there for our revenues and go from there? Can I throw a monkey wrench in before? Just to Please. have this. Okay. Your wrench. I have been thinking Friends long and hard, long and hard about this. And I know others on the committee have throughout the whole process. But with all that I have been doing, in my personal life with this COVID situation and budgets and finances, I really think we should consider paying off this ladder truck, not for the $4,000 savings, cause that's peanuts, but to get it off the debt and to not have to worry about financing it next year when we may not get mitigation money in to cover it and then I would hate to have to maybe take out a loan to cover a loan. And even if we do this this year, we're still going to have reserve money in mitigation. We're still going to have free cash money. We're still going to have money for contingency line. And that's my pitch. So my question then is, if we do this, we were going to pay for it out of the mitigation funds. So it's actually not even impacting free cash. Um, the only downside is it takes away a little bit of flexibility um, because we wouldn't, we'd wouldn't be using all of those mitigation funds. But I think that that's minimal given the other flexibility that we have. And June, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like we're in a pretty good position on free cash at this point. We obviously have stabilization. So um, I would I would not be opposed to that. Just hear Margaret or anybody else that might like to share their opinion because I really have been really, really Ooh, thinking long and hard. Question. Michael, you're familiar with this screen. Um, this is this is the um, use of the uh, funding sources, uses, and balances. So here's Highland Commons Public Safety Mitigation. These are what's scheduled to be spent in the articles. Here is what's scheduled to be spent in the operating for personnel costs. And when all of those are done, there's a $143,000.14 balance. If the ladder truck is paid off, we're going to add the, uh, we're going to add 115689 to that. So let me just do this, equal that, plus, oops, you $28,000. You're gonna, you're gonna end up, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I meant minus. <laughs> hey, it's Friday night. All right, wait, right here. Right here. There you are, $28,225.14 is what will be left. Yeah, it, look, it makes sense. The, um, the probability that we will have um, issues with with mitigation funds next year is high. The, prob the probability that we have to pay off the ladder truck is 100%. Uh, so if we can do it now so that we do not run into an issue next year, uh, at least we don't run into that issue next year, I think it makes a great deal of sense. And then June or Margaret, what happens with leftover mitigation money, the free cash? Our, our hope 
is that, and the Capital Planning Committee had proposed this earlier, but it's been deferred. Our hope is to establish a public safety stabilization fund. Oh, right. And, yeah. Yeah. Currently, the money is in a revolving fund type of a thing, so it won't go away. It just rolls over into the next year. And how much How much is in there now from prior? Zero. Zero, because it hasn't been yes. established yet. No, uh, there's there the revolving fund that has, isn't there? Oh, it's up, we it's haven't up spent here. it down to the yeah, penny. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's up here. Thirty-nine. Yeah. This includes the current balance plus what we received oh, right. this year. Right, okay. So we could just put the leftover twenty eight thousand in a in the um it will just stay right where it is right now. Leave it where it is, and if we want to fund a mitigation or a, a stabilization fund next year, then we'll do that. Correct. Oh, okay. So yeah, so we don't lose it's not use it or lose it. So yeah, there's no No, there's no it's lose use it or keep it. <laughs> How about you, Mary Porter? I don't have a strong opinion on this. You what? Uh, am I getting audio or not? No, you're okay. Yeah, we you're can okay. hear you. I said, I said I don't have a strong opinion on this topic. Okay. You hear that, everybody? Yep. Okay. So, so Janet, do you want to make a motion? Well, I just want to say, ask Margaret, do you think this is a smart way to go, Margaret, as town administrator? I do. I think you all know I've been struggling with yeah, this. Yeah, she's been proposing this. So. All right. So I make a motion that we pay off ladder truck, uh, leaving a balance of 28255.14 in public safety mitigation fund. Second. Sorry. Any further discussion? So roll call vote, Stan I. Mike I. Mary I. Janet I. Okay, motion passes, four to nothing. All right, let's move on. Um, I, 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 I really, I think at this point, guys, and unless we want to have any belabor any further discussion, I, I really think we, at this point, just go with, go with Margaret's, go with Margaret's and accompanying helpers that she's had along the way, June, uh, et cetera. Um, I, we just, I think we need to pass this budget. The only thing that I would ask is, um, do we what's is there a different the regional school system or what we do for Egyptian Sabet and just said that that's our allocation and we just Stan Stan your audio broke up a little bit. What happened? what do we Can you repeat that Stan? I'm just wondering repeat? about the schools and is there a distinction? Is there a distinction now between Assabet and Burlet? Now that we're a regional school committee or uh, regional school system, um, is there really a distinction between the two? I mean, we generally just go with what Assabet goes with, and then the mm -hmm. schools we kind of haggle and go back and forth. Are we even able to haggle with either one of them? Yes. Uh, the answer is yes. Uh, well, I don't know if it's haggling, but I would suggest uh, the school committee is going to be meeting on Tuesday night. And I think that we're going to be, ha uh, this is the Berlin Boylston School Committee. Um, I believe we're going to be getting some information from them that is going to, um, is going to at least minimally uh, reduce what they're asking from us. I can't, you know, I don't have numbers yet, but I believe that they're going to be, uh, I mean, I think I've mentioned before that they were looking at the capital stabilization because we had specifically re requested that they look at that. Yeah. I think that that $25,000 we were talking about before <clears throat> will come off. Um, but I also think there might be a small decrease in the operating assessment for Berlin Memorial. So um, school committee's meeting Tuesday night and we will have more information then. I also understand the Assabet School Committee is going to be meeting. I just don't know what date they're going to be meeting. And I, and I can understand that they're probably not going to be chock full of information and, and ability to see where they're going to be. I mean, they might have 
some further guesswork, but they're not going to know. Um, I guess it's just really more from a procedural standpoint. What it, what happens if we change the number that they've given us? Are you asking Margaret? Okay. I can tell you uh, what I was- Or June or- June, uh, if anybody else could weigh in, but I, my thought would be we'd have to, we should look at our revenues again, our revenue sources again, and make sure that we have uh, trimmed them enough and, um, you know, things like uh, local aid. Uh, June 1st is going to be coming uh, soon enough, and we're going to have another month of uh, revenue activity behind us. So uh, we need to be watching those very carefully. Yeah, I'm just I'm just wondering about you know do we want to send this message? I mean, we're we're clearly sending a message to our own town officials about zero, you know, um, holding the line budget or how, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, do we want to send that same message to the schools or are we just going to say, well, you do okay, you gave us a budget, I guess we'll go with that. That's okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna weigh in here only speaking because I've had to sit on this on in my work world. I think that this year, if our budget can support what the school is offering, I think next year and possibly even the following year, our schools are going to really be, have to look at their budgets and it's gonna be even hit harder. So I don't know, I'm, I'm feeling, I hear what you're coming from and what you're saying, but if we can like get through this budget this year and not like penny pinch everybody and i know we've already penny pinched oh. a lot i just well, we think, have, but we're is that the wind i'm hearing behind you yes, yes. i heard that it's coming <laughs> i oh, heard it's gonna it. be coming your way get, probably give it maybe 45 minutes i don't mean penny yeah. pinching but i just think if we can like manage this year that next year and the following year is going to even be worse I hate to be the Debbie Downer here, but it's what I'm hearing at every meeting I'm going to. Well, then I think we just need to share. I think we'll just, then we give them what they asked for this year with the uh, with the strong admonishment that that's not gonna necessarily continue. Mike, did you have something? Yeah, no, no, so, so can we accept the, the budget in, in uh, Margaret's last, Whatever it is, the, the last submission, the one that came out on the 13th, which was, I guess, get two days ago. And, but then if, if uh, the schools come back on Tuesday with a lower amount, what does that do? Or can we incorporate that? Just to, um, to let you know that if that does happen, whatever it is that the school actually comes in at, it, if it comes in lower, that's what we'll actually pay out to them. So if there's extra money that's left in the line item that's over and above what the actual assessment turns out to be, it will just be there. Um, if we don't change the budget per se at, at the floor, if they haven't made a decision, um, we could also um, change it, lower it. The only thing that I would suggest is that we have to be really careful as far as um, lowering things too much as far as the tax part of it goes. Um, so I would just recommend to go with what it is. And like I said, that if the assessment yeah. comes in lower, then that's all we'll pay out will be the lower amount. We won't give them whatever it is that we vote in the line. Because their budget, if I'm not mistaken, they, they, they get the money and if they find out halfway through the year that they've got to make changes because, oh, remote learning is costing more than we thought. So, and because we're not having, you know, the cafeteria aid, and I don't mean to be picking on a cafeteria aid, I'm just trying to say someone that would not be working because the kids aren't in school then they shift their money from one to another. Is that not correct? That's correct. They would okay. actually be spending money from within their approved budget. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But but they, they're whatever we approve is yes. is the maximum they get. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. 
Who's that we're hearing? <laughs> yeah, I think that's Wendy in the background. Hold on a second. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it went <Okay>. away. <laughs> So can we just say, I've never sat on this end before, and, and I know we've talked to it and talked to it. Can we just say, um, make a motion, and I'm not making a motion, I'm asking. Can we just say, like, I make a motion to, to um, approve revenue sources, and that's one motion? Is that how this works? I, I almost feel like we can vote the whole budget if we choose to, but... Yeah, no. do, do we have to just do sources, or can we, can we adopt the, the entire the entire budget as presented in this document? As, as okay, wait a minute. Um, well, and as, what the only thing would be with the fire truck. I mean, we, yes, and so I've made those changes, and so it would be as revised with the ladder truck payoff from public safety mitigation. And as, okay. As soon as we're done here, I'll send you the spreadsheets again with those changes. Well, do we have to do we have to say all that advising because we've already just done it? It's just a matter of uh, yeah. Just just record what change you just made, the re the revision you just made. Motion to I'm just talking. I'm not making it. Except F Y twenty one budget with ladder truck revision payoff. payoff. Is that specific enough? Public safety mitigation fund. Yeah, no, yeah. From From public funds. safety but funds to come from the public. Yep, yeah, yeah. Payoff from funds from public safety mitigation fund. Whatever, I'll, all right. Yeah, I, I okay. have yeah. yeah. Is that is that specific enough is my question. Okay. What document are we talking about? So the document is the one that, that uh, Margaret distributed on Wednesday afternoon. Yes. So it's, it's still the, uh, the it's not the uh, town report document. It's the other. Um, um, it's, it's, What's it called? I'm trying no, to. No, I'm going to, Mary, oh. I'm going to, rev I'm revising that one as well. So you're going to get all the new spreadsheets updated with the ladder truck stuff. But here is your new, he, right here that I'm, uh, did, I, did I share it? Yeah. This is the uh, this is the new total amount of public safety mitigation um, to be used. So this is the 511 working budget AFT. Yeah, that's the document we're in here. Yes. Yes. Um, all right. Okay. So the 437 goes to 553. And the bottom line revenues, total revenues, 14 million, 524.060. And that matches up with the bottom line of the budget, 14, 524.060, the revised. For the revenue side, you've got a balanced budget. Have a surplus. You've got a balanced budget. So when you send this, Margaret, can you name it final budget FY21? Yep. Yep. So it'll look different from all the other documents we have because yep. it just all looks the same to me when I start looking. Yeah. And uh, I will name the others, the, um, the reports that go in your annual town report, I'll name those final as well. They'll reflect these, these changes, this change too. Okay, thank Excellent. you. So, so I, one of us, I think, made the motion. Somebody <laughs> needs to second it, and nope. we need to vote. I heard. I heard you say you made that motion, Mike. Yep. I'll second it. Further discussion? Please, God, no. Oh, I'm sorry. What? Um, further discussion? Yeah, I, I, I've got two questions. <laughs> I'm teasing. Um, Go. And I, and I worked off the, the 
annual town report document today because it was easier to print and look at. So, so the one question, and maybe we just talked about it, is on the schools, the intergovernmental expenditures, everything is in, uh, uh, all, all of the lines are in parentheses and it's, and the recommended change is minus 100%, but then the total line is all the same. What, what does that mean? Uh, you're in the you're in the finance committee. Let me let me. Uh, yeah, the annual town town report. Eight hundred. Here it is, right here. Yeah, I'm in the. Sorry, I'm in. The, yeah, the eight hundred category. Eight hundred category. Um, are you on the? Are you on the? You're on the budget itself, or yeah, you're on the budget itself. Okay, let me go down to eight hundred. I'm looking at. I'm actually looking at the. Uh, right here. The PDF. Uh, well, yeah. they're, the, they're the same. Yeah, it's the same, right? So I don't understand why it's presented that way and I'm sure there's a simple answer but I um, uh, the, the, the percent you know down um, minus the, rec the recommended changes is the problem oh, oh, oh okay because a recommended F FY20 is not no. filled in no, no, the formula is the for I think the formula is off in these Mary I'm going to have to correct the formula in that section so, so it's just, well, a, just some little error in the document that we want to get fixed before it. Oh, yeah. yeah Margaret, thank you. Col column AA is not filled in on that, in that That's column. why. Yep. I don't even have that one. I'm looking at, I'm look, the, the one I made the motion off of is the one that that's filled in correctly, which is. I, I think in the, in, in the spread, in the actual spreadsheet, it's filled in correctly in the PDF. Yeah. yeah. This yeah. is an attachment, Janet, on one of uh, Mar Margaret's emails. This is. No, 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 I haven't. I, I just am saying. This, a read I'm gonna, Excel, so you can't, that, you can't edit it. So, yeah. so it's, it, it's not important as long as what comes out as the document we we're voting on and yeah. what, what gets into the annual town report. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to highlight that and, and update the um, the numbers, I'm and sure. I'll send that out Guy, to you. Hold on. Okay. Fixed up. Thank you. Yep. The aliens are coming. Yep, I understand. We didn't lose Margaret, did we? No, I'm I'm here. So Margaret, mm -hmm. on the one I'm looking at, um, which is 800, 100, 101, 102, blah, 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 blah. I have. You're looking on that AFT. Uh, 842, 19. And then I have 339. None of this got changed, correct? Right. So, yeah. so Janet, yeah. in, in, in one sheet, they are there correctly, but in the other, and I'm not sure which one I printed, the column, yeah. which is, which, the column two before the end, which is the, what was the FY20 recommendation is blank for most of them. Oh, okay. Well. Consequently, the recommended change is, is huge. And, and by is, the way, that column, that column actually should be FY21 recommended. Yeah, I just didn't carry them. And the reason, yeah, the reason I didn't is because I hadn't made changes in the TA recommendation column. So I'm going to make changes on those to reflect uh, what you had in the level fund okay. budget column, okay? Yep. These devices would hear me talking and they tell me information. I just learned about Paul McCallum, whoever he is. I'm not quite sure why it thought whatever I said was Paul McCallum. So, and I have I have one other question in this final budget before before I'm ready to vote. So, uh, yeah. I'm satisfied that that whole 800 category is set. That's just a little error, and we'll get it fixed. And then going up under culture and recreation, uh, this is a bit of a nit, but there's an entry for Memorial Day expense. Uh, are we actually thinking we're going to spend anything Memorial Day? It'll be uh, next Memorial Day. Right, that's the next one. Ah, okay, 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 sorry. Oh, then we hope we are. 
All right. Let's hope. Yeah, yeah, we hope that by, and, by and we did spend we did we spend money this Memorial Day because we are still doing a small, very, very, very small honoring of the veterans with some key veterans in. I know we're still planting the flowers at the cemetery, so some of that money is going to be spent. Oh, I'm sorry, you need uniform. to screen share. I, I've been making a mess of my, I didn't realize I was screen sharing. <laughs> Janet? Okay. Sorry? We'll skip, be, we'll skip be in uniform. Um, if he is going to be the person that does the shooting of the guns, what's his back? I'm losing my... Marshal, the Grand Mar Marshal? No, no, the, what do you call a group that marches... Come on, Tom, help me out here. The color guard. The, 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 bit, the, the, the people the firing that... Squad. Firing squad. Yeah, there you go. Thanks. thanks. Firing squad? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we've determined that the 800 section is correct and that the Memorial Day is also correct. Yep. The 800 sections being corrected, yes. Well, it's correct in the sense that it just didn't get carried. We've all seen it. Yeah. The final number was correct, but the, yeah. the, the intermediate just columns the, were yeah. not. Yes. Okay. So it's not changing anything? No. Okay. All right. So I have a motion so, so. to accept the FY21 budget with ladder truck revision payoff um, being paid off from um, Public safety mitigation funds. A uh, mic was the motion. Janet was the second. The discussion is mute because it doesn't really matter. And if I got everything else correct, I think I think Janet we're on to a second vote. We already did the payoff vote. Now we're on to do we accept the budget? Right, but that was the motion. The mo the, the payoff. The, the change has to go in the motion of the FY budget. The budget with, with the change to the payoff. I think we already voted on that, Janet. Yeah, we, we already no, voted. No, we voted, we voted to make the change, and now we have to vote to put the change into the budget. Am I right? I, I mean, this is new to me. Well, Janet, I think what was proposed the budget as is the entire budget and this vote at all. And, and so that Margaret's made that change and she's also fixed the 800 section. So that's what that's the document we're voting on, right? Yeah, no? Yes, yes. So yeah. then we have to change the motion because the motion was made to... Janet, we already voted that motion. This is a new motion. No, no, no. 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 My, no. I, I, the no, motion the first I made vote was assumed that we had to say that we were changing the document, this document to reflect the change in payoff that we already made. Exactly. We already voted. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, so what I'm saying is correct or do I need to change it? I think it's fine. Okay. All those in, all right, roll call vote. Stan, aye. Mike, aye. Janet, aye. Is this, this is, we're editing the budget to put in the payoff. This is for accepting the budget. This, this is accepting the, the entire budget. Accepting the entire budget. Okay. Yeah, Mary, I. Okay, we have a budget. Woohoo! Woo Woohoo! Woo so now we need to talk about articles. So when I looked at the draft annual the draft annual town report, I only saw the one article that had money in it. Um, yes. 18 and 19 or capital. something. Or 17 and 18. Capital. The only but, other one would be the snow and ice deficit, but we believe that is actually going to be an end of year appropriation transfer. It won't need an article. So. Excellent. Okay, I guess, I, guess what, um, I think we need to vote though on on anything that's being paid for, even if it's out of uh, mitigation funds, don't we? Yes. So it's not it's not just the the only thing that's caused the only thing that's coming from free cash was the was the capital budget. But there's Margaret, you have that section and that whole section of the um, 
on the budget that we were just looking at that had you at one point you yeah. scrolled down and said all the sources of funds. Yes. Uh, we have to vote on all of those, I believe, individually. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm not following what you're saying, Stan. Well, I'm normally we, I, the finance committee in the past, has, we would have 47 articles that were all funded in different ways and we would need to, we would have to come up with the revenue source and how we wanted to fund all of those. Um, whether it was raise and appropriate, whether it was free cash, whether it was mitigation, safety fund, blah, blah, blah. So it's up to us to decide where this, how everything is being funded. So there's that whole section that Margaret has on here that is paying for things like the, like the fire, like the um, scuba gear and, the, or, you know, all of the things that's even stuff that's being paid for out of mitigation fund, which doesn't require raise and appropriate or free cash, but we still have to vote on it as a funding source. Because that's what goes in the, that goes in the town, yes. that goes in the annual report with our votes for whether we, and, and we also have to vote to, well, I guess we're voting the, um, we just voting the funding source or are we voting whether we want those to, well, they're going to be articles regardless, but we're, we're voting on the articles ahead of time because we, the, you're, voting vote to, is, you're voting whether to recommend the article and from the funding that, source yeah. that's proposed. Correct. I can't find that sheet. So, 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 Margaret, as I recall, there are only two articles altogether. The capital? No. Were, were, were there more than two articles? Well, there has to be because there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff being paid for out of mitigation funds. But I thought yes, that everything was wrapped into one article. Yeah, it's all in one article. It's all the capital okay. budget. Oh, okay. okay. So it's all just in the one. Yes, Dan. The only copy of the warrant that I've got, I, I know it's still a draft, and I forget what day we got it, but it has Article 17, the fiscal 21 budget, and Article 18, the fiscal 21 capital budget. Yeah. Right. But it, it's a, but it says under Article 17, this article contains multiple motions that will be presented to town meeting on a separate motion sheet. Don't know what that means. Okay. Uh, I, See, I there have, I go, being the big picture guy instead of the detail guy again. Yeah. Well, so, but are those sheets part of the of the what's going on with the warrant or not? They're not. The for the operating budget, it's for yeah. the year. Yeah, no, so those motions are going to be on a separate motion sheet. And as of and last year, I was looking at your, um, I was looking at your annual town report warrant article recommendations for last year. The budget article was not included on that. So you must have presented them separately. So those the operating, yeah, operating budget would be recommended separately. Right, and we just, we did it by section and we all stood up and, and approved okay portions of the budget and, and had discussions regarding portions of the budget but there was also we also need to vote on any articles that require money whether we approve of them and where the funding source is so that's only 18. article 18. let me see what else if you, there's any i'm looking at last year's annual town report thing i want because i'm not familiar with how um uh, you also, yeah sorry, you may, sorry. oh go ahead i'm sorry mary Article 18 is all capital planning committee recommendations, so we're not on that. No, but the finance we committee will make a recommendation it. on any finance articles, so. We still have to uh, express an approval or yay or nay on these. Yep. Yeah. The only other thing, Stan, I think is the um, cable access is Article 16. Yep. And you made a recommendation on that one last year. Well, what's the, so what does it say under 18 as far as, are there individual things that we have to, that we have to say that we're taking this from mitigation, this from mitigation, that from mitigation, and for all, the, for the things that we are paying for, or that all just falls under the capital? It, it all falls under capital, but if, but you know, you're, you're welcome to do it, the, each, each of those items. Um, each of those capital projects are, are numbered one, two, three, four, and five. If the finance committee wants to make recommendations on each one of those numbers in article 18, you can do that. 
Okay, can you, share, can you share can you share that page? Yeah, I'm gonna I'll, because yeah, let I, me go back. I, it's in my pile here, but I, I'm yeah. sorry, I can't find let it. Let me let me go um let me go and get the um, Margaret, this is the first year that they're putting it all in one section okay. to vote on. Normally it's done individually as special articles for each one. Okay. But, okay. But why it's a little different Margaret. this year to them. Okay. June, Margaret, we, we can approve Article 18 as an entirety with, with all of the various funding you, sources that it yes. suggests. You yes, can if you want. Don't, to. We don't have to vote separately on each one. Correct. That's entirely up to you. Well, I, I'm going to suggest that unless we have some strong reason that we feel we need to vote separately on each one, we can say we've looked at them all and we vote for the whole thing. That wasn't a motion, that was a suggestion. Well, I, I apologize, I'm not super um, there we go. Uh, versed in these. So I, I Mike, I think I would, I guess I would defer to you. Are any of these controversial? Is there anything that we, I mean, should we just we've, we've be discussing? We've talked about every one of these before. You know, this is what the, um, yeah. what, what the Capital Planning Committee recommended. We've talked about that at, at Finance Committee. I think a couple of times we talked about it with the, uh, with the select board. And, 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 uh, and you can see, it's, it, 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 they've all been approved. We've, we've, as I said, we've talked about them all. I don't think we need to have a separate motion for each of them. It, it just- uh, No, I guess, so, so I guess my only question would just be is, is we approved, we talked about these kind of pre-COVID. Does any, does any of this, not unlike the ladder truck, I mean, saying that we should do it, oh. um, there are any, should any of these not be done because of, potential revenue issues or do we just say we've got the money this year let's just do it so, so speaking for the for the capital planning committee uh i think we that particularly as you look at those that are on the screen right now and those uh, coming below it these were sort of critical things that uh you know that the 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 uh, breathing apparatus the protective equipment the police vehicle they're not things we want to put off I mean, um, if I, it, it, unless it was video security, I mean, the, the jail really ought to have uh, a uh, a video system. Correct, Chief? He's not talking. I'm here. I just have to reach over and, and turn on my microphone. Um, but, but absolutely, and especially where these are coming from the mitigation funding. So even if we decided to put these off and we put them off, to a special town meeting, that there's a cost associated with putting it off, especially right. when we look at, we look at a police vehicle where we you know, are, you know, what we're looking at doing is replacing with a hybrid and more fuel efficient vehicle. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we, we take an older vehicle that's going to require more maintenance. We keep it on the road longer at all, and it uses more fuel. Um, so there's a there's a there's a cost to waiting. Um, and then on the at least for our, our part on the video equipment. We're already using loaner equipment, and I'm getting weekly emails from the vendor saying, "What's going on? We can't, you know, we can't keep this in place because our system completely died." So, yeah, yeah. To, to put this off, it really would be, I think, detrimental. All right. Well, then I guess the only thing I would say is that is we need to understand that there's a chance we don't have the same mitigation funds next year, and we will need to we will need to consider next year whether we do, you know, do we do another police cruise or do we do a you know, whatever, whatever it is that we always say that we're just going to do because we've got the mitigation funds. I think we all, and I'm sure we all do, but we need to just kind of bear in mind that that may yeah. or may not be the case next year. So, it, and that's why I think it was so important to get that fire truck paid for because that's got to be paid for next year regardless. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that was one of my reasons for doing that because next year, if we don't get any mitigation money, there's $28,000 and there would only be $28,000 regardless because we still have to pay the truck off. Does that yeah. make sense to everybody? Well, right. Oh. And we're doing, all of these things need to be done. I mean, I guess we could, you know, we could put off at an expense to not replace police vehicles or, but some of the stuff we just need to do it. And oh, so can you, it, it makes sense to just do it now. Can you scroll the screen once more so I can yeah. see thought four? Yeah. I'm, yep, I'm ready. Yep, yep. Yep. And, um, and, and if I could, um, uh, 
the Capital Planning Committee actually did meet when COVID-19 hit and they actually pulled $140,000 of, no, more than $140,000 of capital requests off. They pulled okay. off or they deferred, they deferred um, $80,000 for Hot Top, $60,000 for a, a very large scale tree work and $124,900 in seed funding for the Capital Stabilization Fund. So all of that was deferred when COVID-19 hit. So those aren't here right now. All right, so is the hot top the public safety driveway or is it our normal hot top that we do for the roads every year? That's the normal one. So we're deferring that? Yeah, to a special town meeting. Okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That makes no sense. Why are we not getting the hot top money this year? Is that why we're deferring it? I'm a little confused on that. So no. This, this is extra money that we include we put in beyond the uh like what is it, state appropriation. Chapter. So it's, not, it's not the money that we get every year, it's extra money. Okay. That's correct. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. It's what we vote every year is an article. Normally. Yeah. Yeah, so the Capital Planning Committee deferred a total of $264,900. So that was in, in projects, so that's good. All right, then I think we should, uh, let's have a motion then for the, for the entire, or then all of the 18 then. So move. I'll so second. Like to second that. I did, Janet. Any further discussion? Sorry, uh, the, motion, uh, roll call. the motion is on the um, articles. In the articles article, 18 specifically. Michael, uh, the eat. article 18 about sources of funds. For the for the capital the capital plan. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then you need my vote. Is that it? Is that so it's right? a, yeah. So it's a couple hundred thousand out of free cash, right? And yeah. for the for highway. Yes. and everything else is out of mitigation. Yep. Yes, and I want to note that, oh, you can actually see here that $75,000 is going to be reimbursed from the grant, and that's going to go back to free cash next year in that um, free cash uh, capital item. And we currently have, what, about a million in free cash? It's 1.2 million, and so, uh, yeah, it's 1.2 million. I'll, I'll, I'll look up the balance. I'm sorry, you broke up, Margaret. One point what? It's 1.2 million. It was our starting balance in free oh, cash. So it, leaves, so it leaves us a million. Okay. Uh, minus the 140 in the budget for the contingency. So this is still parking lot repair, including regrading, repaving, reconstruction. Okay, so that's all still in it. Yeah. Okay. Well, to be clear, this we've is put for that 23 Linden. Three years, yeah. I think. yeah, we've put this off for three years, I think. <laughs> more, more. More, more, more. <laughs> there are a lot of little pools now in the in the parking lot. <laughs> mm. Okay. Um, any further discussion? Roll call. Stan, I. Janet, I. Gary, I. I don't know if I think I spoke over Janet. So again, Mike, I. Okay. Okay. What else do we need to do, Grand Poobah? Margaret. <laughs> oh, cut it out. <laughs> just just article 16, the cable, the cable access committee peg spending. Peg, oh, peg yeah. Spending. Oh, that's peg an easy one. Spending. Which, which funds itself? Which that, funds that itself? Is, we yep. to, yeah. Yep. We just have that's to tell it to fund itself. Yeah. Do I have a motion on that? Come on, Mary. I, I move that we approve uh, Article 16 in the, in the warrant on cable access committee spending. We'll do it for PEG because it's public education. What is it? The, uh... Yeah, PEG spending. There is another <laughs> article. What? What? Any further discussion? Roll call, Stan, aye. Mary, aye. Mike, aye. 
We don't oh, Janet. Janet. We're waiting for you, Janet. Uh-oh. Do we lose I you? muted myself because I had a son <laughs> asking a question. Janet, I... And there is one more article, and it's Article 19. Okay. That's the establishment of a capital stabilization fund. All right. Which we put a hundred bucks in. <laughs> yes, plus yeah. <laughs> plus the remaining balance in the Highland Commons Capital Fund. So it's four four thousand four forty one sixteen for seed funding. Four thousand. Four thousand four hundred forty one dollars and sixteen cents. <laughs> well, I thought we still had twenty eight from the Highland from. That's a different state. fund. Oh yeah, uh, this is a different. Yeah, this was a different one. Oh, this is capital. This is. This yeah. is just capital only. This isn't the uh, the other one is public safety. Public safety, right? Okay. This is the Highland Commons capital contribution account. Yeah. Got it. This yeah, this closes that out. This is the last of that money. Right. Oh right, that one doesn't that doesn't renew. Yep. Okay, and I make a motion to uh, whatever uh, nineteen says. Adopt Article sixteen. Oh, 19, sorry. Uh, yeah, make a motion to adopt Article 19. Do I have a second? A second. Mary, okay, Mary seconded. Any further discussion? Roll call, Stan, aye. Uh, Mary, aye. Mike, aye. Stan, aye. All right, I think. Um, uh, June, excuse me. Um, I, have a, I have a question. Does the finance or and FinCon do you do you vote on the special article closeouts too or? Mm, probably. Okay, yeah. then that's Article Twenty. Okay, what's Article Twenty? The special article closeouts. Oh. Why would we vote on closeouts? So that they actually get closed out. I mean, so that because we're proving that we want this to happen, and that they didn't, and it I know, but why money. would we have to be part of that? Because it involves point money. Is this money? Oh. Okay. June's. Can you slide the screen up then, please? Oh yes, I can. I'm sorry. I'm like. That's uh, not your fault. There you are. Stella, special close out. Yeah. You know, we're not talking a lot of money. No. We did more. We did most of it last year. At one point, at one point in time, the finance committee had different ideas than what the rest of us did. So it's kind of nice if everybody's on the same page. That's why it's <laughs> asked to be voted on. Mm -hmm. Okay. May I move oh, that the, wax is, is finance this article? You never know what they're thinking. Yeah. <laughs> The jokers. Uh, do I have a motion? Mike made it. Do I have a second? Uh, second. Any further discussion? Roll call, stand aye. Aye, aye. aye. I think Janet Mike and Janet will over each other. Yeah. Janet, I. Well, too bad we don't have a lot more business to conduct because we're really got this down to a science now. No, you know, I'm looking at last year's the, the revotes on four bylaw articles for last year. Um, and I see that, I see that FinCon actually did make recommendations on um at least it looks like at least article 40 creation of a community preservation act committee do you want to go ahead and make that and you voted unanimously last year to to support that in this in this warrant it's up for revote in article four can we see it yeah i'm gonna it's very very long so i'll at least show you the beginning part of it here you said it's a revote. yeah why is this up again because yeah, something happened again? with the posting of uh, town uh, the town meeting warrant last year that caused 
um, that required a petition for uh, curative legislation um, to validate the proceedings of town meeting and the legislature has not taken it up yet. And so this community preservation act, this community preservation committee is actually required to be formed in order for the town to spend community preservation funds. So this isn't necessarily a money article, but is, is it is an article to form a committee that is going to have, that is gonna be charged with oversight of community preservation monies. You voted three to nothing last year in re to recommend this. Can you, can you just read down? I see A, B, C. I want to see what the fourth thing is. Sure. Oh, yeah. It's a whole, it's a couple more pages, Janet. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Let me just read. Okay. Recreation, housing partnership. Okay. Can I ask how much money is in this uh, CPA at the moment? Jim, do you have that number with you by any chance? I, I don't have the number with me tonight. Yeah, and I don't have it off the top of my head. Are we talking 100,000? Are we talking a million? I think we're talking like 50 bucks. No. 3% no. <laughs> of our tax bill from last What's year. What's the question? How What's much the balance? Is the CPA What's... account right now. The CPA was a 3% override on the taxes this year. Yeah. I don't know so what right. taxes so were. How much is that? Well, if taxes were 14 million or 12 million or something like that. 3% would be $300,000, $360,000, dollars one second. I'm trying to look it up on my on the computer at work. Hold yeah, June will get it. June will get an answer. $300,000. So my, my concern about this is, as a, is probably not our concern as FinCon, but more as a, a citizen. And I see that it's, you know, a member from each one of these boards, but I feel like sometimes people don't realize this money is there and available to them. And that if we're going to act on this every year, a letter should go out to the group of people that this funding is going to so that if there is something that they're looking for or towards or would like, they can actually ask for it um, rather yeah. than, and I'm going to pick on the, the, the committee that is always asking for the most money, which is conservation. Um, you know, I would hate for them to come in and say, okay, we want the 300000 this year and then next year somebody come in and want something and because we've already so, given it all to one group there's no yeah. equity is my concern right. um you're you're right janet that so i was i in one of my one of my former communities i was there when they established the uh, community preser the community preservation act and so i was there for the entire startup the community preservation committee is going to be responsible for doing an entire um, an entire process for requests, for vetting those requests, for bringing them to town meeting with recommendations. But not only that, the Community Preservation Act allows, it, it has mandatory set-asides for different purposes. So there's not, there's not an automatic, um, you know, they can't shove all the money over to conservation, for example. There are mandatory set-asides for affordable housing, for historic preservation, for and for open space. So, uh, and I think there's something else too. Historic preservation. So, so for example, what if historical in planning board um, don't take a recreation and historical commission don't use their money for three years and it it builds up? Mm -hmm. Can then one other group take all of it back? Nope. Nope, okay. another group can't take it because there's a 10% there's a 10% mandatory 
um, a lot of for each. Has to go into a couple of categories. So every year there's a certain amount that's gets set aside automatically without a vote. It just automatically goes in there. There's a vote that's needed to put in additional funding and also to vote out money. Um, currently we have about 236,000 in there. Thanks, June. Am I correct that this is a charge every year, 3% override in taxes? Every year. Yes. Every 3% surcharge. Yeah. And also um, in there, they can also um, approve projects and vote to have them funded by um, loan. So that would mean that if we approve to fund a project and we have to borrow for it, um, that means that we're kind of stuck with the repayment. And it, even if we decide to um, revote and do away with the CPA, the town will still be responsible to repay that loan. And you're not only and, and you're borrowing against future receipts in that particular yeah. category. Yeah, exactly. So we have to watch. We have to watch that. It's got to be very careful about that. But to, at I believe it has to be done at town meeting. It's not something that this committee can do um, without town meeting approval. Exactly. That's exactly correct. Yes. The committee is just to make suggestions and recommendations. It's not yeah. to give the actual, um, they don't have the final say. Right. Town meeting does. Yeah. Yep. So did we, I'm sorry, did we vote, did we vote on this or no, we need to, right? So we need a motion and a second to adopt it. All right, I'll move to adopt article four. Oh, to recommend. Article four, whatever it's called. Yeah. Recommend article four. Yeah. Have a second? Yeah, I'll second it. Any further discussion? Roll call, Stan, aye. Gary, aye. Mike, aye. Janet, aye. I believe that's it because I don't see that FinCom voted on the plastic ban, the plastic bag ban bylaw or anything else. Mary Porter, yep. you, you're the one that's been so good about looking today is there anything that you saw that we should be acting upon in the in the warrant? No, I, I, I actually, um, I went through my email. It's actually, it was easy to find. I just searched for warrant under my FinCom email. <laughs> and, and only one document came up. So, and it is the one we're looking at today. So, uh, no, I, I, the only one that I immediately identified as something that we would, we would uh, give our yay or nay on was article, uh, since we voted the entire budget we don't need to do anything about reducing our we had a reduction in our um, line item from 275 to 150 or whatever that was for you don't have to yeah because you've already voted it yeah right so can I just ask a quick question so we did article 4 we did article 20 we did article 19 article 16 and article 18 but I could have sworn Mary just said Article 17. Or is that just my hearing? Oh, that's the operating budget, Janet, and that'll come later. Oh. Yeah, you'll make your recommendations on that later. Okay, so we haven't done Article 17. <laughs> no. Right. Mavericks. Right. I think that's I'm nice. gonna let the dog out. Well, at least we'll know who did it then. There you go. Um, oh, Margaret, I'm, I'm, I would have to say 
Who let the dogs out? We don't even need to wonder anymore. <laughs> no. Margaret, I'm, I'm, a tiny, I'm a tiny bit confused. We weren't talking about the war this time. But we, but we did post we did vote to approve the uh, higher operating budget. Yes, you yeah, did. You voted to, yep. So, so your recommendations later will be coming on the sources of funding and those wow. amounts. So you'll make form. Yeah. Thank you. You'll make okay. Form. okay. Okay. And here comes the win. Told you. Yeah. So you're up the hill okay. from me. I haven't gotten in here yet. Fin Con does so. not. That's what the dog is upset about. It's bad out. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's. Okay, did I miss something? I'm sorry. No, I don't think so. No. Okay. All right. What else do we have to write here? I heard article something. Mm, not article 17 because that comes later. So I think you got them all, Janet. Okay. When you say it comes later, later when? Yeah, tell I'm me. working on, yeah, I'm working on motions. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know how FinCom has approached this in prior years, but I'm working on motions now and I'll be reviewing them um, with the administrative finance team to make sure we've got the revenue, the, the sources of revenues exactly right. Um, and with the moderator on the form of motions and I'll give them to FinCom and you can make recommendations on them. Do we schedule another meeting like in a few weeks? And, and then my other question is, are we waiting till the 18th? Because my meeting earlier today, um, the town, other town meeting I'm involved in is June 13th. So I'm sorry, what's the 18th? <laughs> no, June 13th. So my other town meeting. So I'm just curious if we know if, if we're keeping the dates we're keeping, we're mm -hmm. hoping for, we mm -hmm. don't know. Okay. Not 100% sure yet. I can tell you there are a lot of lot of towns that are going to be doing outdoor town meetings. I know that's what we're doing. Um, my question is, do we have to say something here about the 112th budget? Adopt. I know Maverick. There's nothing I can do, honey. Stop. Um, is there? No. Okay. I don't think so. No. Um, at one of your at one of your upcoming meetings, you don't have to do this tonight. At one of your upcoming meetings, you know how we've talked about the contingency. I Wait, have. That's what I have you, thing I have. Uh, I have sent you this draft contingency policy and procedures. Mm -hmm. I, the board the board approved that on Monday night, so I will be asking FinCom to also approve it. It's going to require both approvals, because all requests that go through the contingency. Uh, line are going to require board and FinCom approvals. So I just want to be sure everyone's on the same page with that. Well, can't we kind of talk to that tonight? I mean, I thought that was something we kind of already decided that we we're going to put well, this contingency line item in for future. The, um, no, through the, yes. Through the chair. Chair want to do that tonight? Um, what time is it? 834. Yeah, I, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm concerned we're going to lose connection. Okay. Yeah, All right, here. I actually have to get onto another call at 830. Oh, okay. Oh, it's 830 now. Yeah. No, it's after 830. Yeah, that, yeah. All right, so contingency line item next time. So let's pick a meeting night. Uh, well, let's give ourselves a little break, ideally. Um, can we say when, how about, what, three Wednesdays actually, from, two Wednesdays from? I actually cannot meet the next two Wednesdays because I already moved stuff around when this whole thing got messed up, right. um, thinking so that we would we have already been with done with all of this. So my next day that I'm free on Wednesday night is the third. I don't know if that's yeah, too late or not. If you want to pick a different night or do without me, that's I don't I don't think that's too late, is it, Margaret? No, the night after is going to be the pre-town meeting and budget forum. But I think um, I think that the, um, you know, FinCom will certainly want to weigh in on various things and you will have met the night before. And, you know, we'll do heavy lifting with, the, um, you know, with charts and things like that. So we can, we can assist. Um, I mean, I'm hoping the 21st at night, I'm open the 
28th. Um, I, I would hope that we give ourselves a break. <laughs> all right, so June 3rd, is everybody all right with that? Or do we want to do June 2nd? That'll give us two nights. What day is a Wednesday? Is that the third? Third is a Wednesday, yes. Yeah, yeah I, it's really uh, dangerous to take me a night other than Wednesday because I will forget. Okay. <laughs> June 3rd. Do we want to? Yeah. So 7.30, June 3rd, is that what I'm hearing? Sounds good. So now how does this get, this is, now do these need to be done by us? Is this by Mary? Is this who, who needs to do these? What? Mike, Mike, I'll book it for you. I'm going to send you the instructions. If you want to give me your agenda, I can book it for you, but I, I can give you Zoom credentials tonight, Mike, and then I'll send them to you tonight. Mike, Mike, Mike is used to posting the agendas, right, Mike? I, I can do it. I will, I will post it once my lady just stand. We need to decide what the agenda is, but I really do need to get on to my uh, other meeting now. We, Mike and I will do it. We'll do it. I'll, we'll get it done later tonight. Okay. Mm -hmm. Time. Okay. All right. Well, when adjourn, we three motion weeks, to so adjourn then. I just wanted to ask Eloise, I see she came on. Did she need or want anything? She's still here. I, I see. She's opened oh. her mic. I, I just opened her mic. I don't know that she's there, but I I'm her. here. Okay, oh. there she is. I just wanted to hear you. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, here we are. I know. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure you didn't need anything. Mm -hmm. I know where you are. <laughs> All right, so do we have a motion to adjourn? So moved.